Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Nick from MigratIphone.com and I've got a pretty exciting review for you today and it is on iBlue Nova. Now this was just released in the Cydia store not that long ago and basically what it allows you to do is send files to and from your device via Bluetooth. Um, if you have an iPhone or an iPod Touch 2G and upwards you would know you have Bluetooth but you're not able to send files and it's only for things like Bluetooth headsets and stuff like that. So it's definitely something the iPhone and iPod Touch lacks and iBlue Nova makes up for that. So I just want to go over the specs real quick. So it's iPod Touch 2G is supported but the iPod Touch 1st gen isn't as there is no Bluetooth hardware so it makes sense. The iPod Touch 3rd gen is actually still being experimented and is not proven to work 100% all the time. The iPhone 2G, 3G and 3GS of course all work and this goes for the devices on the firmware 3.0 and upwards so if you're on 2.2.1 still you better update if you want to use this application. So without the way we're going to open up iBlue Nova. So here it is. Now when you download it you get a 15 day trial and after that 15 day trial you'll get the option to buy it and it is a price of five dollars and ninety nine cents in the US so when you come to iBlue Nova you just want to enable it something they could add is to have it enabled all the time but that is just something they could add in future updates you also want to make yourself visible so other people can see your device and once you've done that you can scroll down and you see the, these four options right here basically these four options are what you can choose to send so you can send pictures music videos or other files say say you wanted to send a theme you could easily send a theme if I went to private var stash and I went to my themes I could send a theme if I wanted to so that's pretty cool you can send pictures like I said so if I wanted to send a picture I could easily do so and it goes the same for music and videos underneath you have your transfers and your device discovery so this will keep log of all your transfers and you can easily clear them up here and you can also discover devices very easily from this option right here so you can favorite them and pair up with them ready for when you want to next use it so as you can see I'm already paired up with my iMac and I could pair up and the way to do this you just click the star and it will favorite it and then it will always be there in your options down here you have your settings where you can change the name of your device you can turn vibrate on and all that stuff you can also turn pin on so it, when you're sending a file and you want a pin code where you have to type the pin code in for your device and then the person who's receiving it has to set, um, type the pin as well you can turn that on can make images JPEG, save in library and choose your save path for all your stuff you receive. So that's pretty much it. You can also get info where you can type in your email and uh, register and buy it from here. So I'm just going to send a song right now. So I'm going to go to my songs and I'm going to send just one up here. Okay, so I'm going to send this one right here. Now you can also see you get the option to play it, so make sure it is the right one. But we're just going to take the phone off the stand for this and put that to the side. And here you can see I've got uh, another phone right here, and this is got Bluetooth as well. So as you can see up here, my Bluetooth is on. So all you're going to do once you have your file you want to send. You'll see a top button up here with like that little send sort of thing right there. You just want to click that, if I can click it, and it will start searching. And I have auto search enabled, guys. If it's if you don't have it enabled, you have to click that button up there where it will start searching. So mine, this device is favorited, so I'm going to click on that device, and it will see it start sending. So as you can see on here it has popped up saying incoming so I just want to accept it and now I will start receiving that song so I'm just going to wait for that to go through could take some time um, they definitely need to improve on the speed of their transfers but I'm sure that will come 
in future updates. So I'm just going to leave that to send through and I'll be back when it's done. Okay guys, so it is completed and I'm just going to save it. And now I can play that song, so if I wanted to play it. So there you go, it does work very well. And this works vice versa, so if I wanted to send a song from here, I could easily do so. Um, you just send it like you would normally via Bluetooth. It will start searching. And it's picked up the iMac. And it's, there we go, pops up Nick's iPhone, so I can click that and it should pop up on here. There you go, I'm just going to click no. But you get the picture there guys, so that's that. Now, you can also send stuff to your iMac as well. Um, and you, you can also send stuff from your iMac to your phone. So I'm going to go over to the iMac now and send, send, I'm going to send stuff to, well, send something to my phone via Bluetooth from my iMac. So let's go over to the iMac right now. Okay, so we're on our iMac, or on my iMac. Um, if you have a computer with Bluetooth, this will also work for you. So I'm going to go up to my Bluetooth thing and we're going to go to send file. And I'm just going to pick anything. I'm going to send a song. So I'm just going to pick this and send. Now I'm going to browse my devices. So as you can see up here, Nick's iPhone is already popped up and it's under smartphone. So you just want to click that and click send. Now if we go to the phone, it should pop up. So as you can see, it has popped up and I'm going to click yes. And it will start to transfer. This shouldn't take too long guys, uh, just let this run through and we should get our file. Now you will need iFile to access any files you receive because unfortunately it doesn't save it into your files. Um, basically what it does is saves it into iFile as um, I'm not sure why it just doesn't save it into your music and your pictures and that but that's not too bad so once it's completed you can just click on it and open with iFile so once you've opened it with iFile you can see right there it's right there I just sent it and to pre play it I just click it and it will start playing so there you go that's iBlue Nova very cool iBluetooth um, Bluetooth application from Cydia like I said open up your Cydia application go to the search tab and type in iBlue Nova. It is on the iSpazio source. Um, I believe that that is a default source. If not, the source is um, HTTP uh, semicolon, no, colon, dash, dash, iSpazio repository dot com. Um, that's, I believe it's that. And you'll find it there, iBlue Nova. And the good thing is you get to install it, get your 15 day trial and you won't have to pay anything until that trial has run out. So there it is, Ivory Nova Insidia. But I hope you enjoyed the review guys, uh, make sure to go check it out. And it's Nick from MyGarfing.com and I'll catch you guys real soon in the next video. Peace.